Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Apps Every Day. And today we're gonna to be talking about Blackmagic's disk speed test. Now this of course is only on computers and the one that we're specifically looking at is from the Mac App Store. So you can just search this in the store and you can download it totally free. Um, and it is optimized for M1 powered Macs. So this is a nice little utility that you can use to measure how fast your hard drives are. So if you don't know why that's important, if you're into video editing, uh, gaming, anything that is really computer intensive, then having a hard drive that can do really fast read and writes is very, very important. Uh, old mechanical hard drives are very slow. Um, you know, maybe even the best ones are, you know, a handful, couple hundred megabytes per second read and write speeds. And then we have, <laughs> You know, I just realized I have the wrong utility up. So they have two identical looking ones and I brought up uh, the right thing in the app store, the disk speed test, but they also make this basically test your computer, how well it can handle black magic raw footage. Um, so yeah, similar layouts, but that's why that happened. Anyway, get that out of the way. This is the one we're talking about, disk speed test, yay. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, so solid state drives and NVMe M.2s, there's so many different types. And like I said, the higher number, the better. And what you do in this utility, it's very simple. You first want to select the little settings icon here and you can choose the stress. Uh, so it's basically going to stress reading and writing uh, a one up to five gig file. Um, I suggest always doing a five because for computers nowadays, five gigs is really pretty low. They probably should update this to have, um, you know, like 50 gigs or something. Um, and then what you want to do is do select target disk drive. Now, if you, you know, most people only have one hard drive in their computer, but a cool thing is if you have any external ones plugged in, you can uh, test those as well. So it's not just your internal drives. I technically have two internal drives. Um, there's the one my Mac Pro came with. So if I want to test that, I can just pick basically any folder that the hard drive, uh, any folder that is on that hard drive. So of course my desktop is on the main internal drive. So I can just hit open and then nothing really changes here, but I can hit start test. We can see up in the top right hand corner, it basically puts this temporary five gig file. This isn't like an actual file that gets saved or anything but you can see that it's stress testing it. It's doing it multiple times so that we can see how it performs doing multiple five gig files at a time. So it's going to go down in theory and um, kind of vary. So uh, it may go up a little bit, may go down a little bit. So my internal drive is getting about a thousand megabytes per second and my reads is 2,500. So not bad for um, a SSD. And then we can see different check marks here, what sort of video production it can handle. Again, this is only relevant if you're into uh, video editing. So I can just hit start again. We can see that file goes away because again, nothing is actually saved to your drive. And then now I can go in and select target disk drive and I'm gonna do my two terabyte NVMe SSD. Hit open, everything resets and hit start. And we can see this is significantly faster. Ooh, got a little low there for a second on the reads, but nearly uh, 3000 megabytes per second on the right. So almost three times faster on the rights um, and actually a little bit lower on the reads. Normally this is around 2400. Um, so yeah, I can basically run a couple utilities to see if uh, my NVMe is filling up or if it just needs kind of cache reset. I don't know. But yeah, this is a pretty easy to use nifty free tool that you can download to your computer to check out your hard drive speed. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow for another apps every day.